Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights Hi! Hi! I'm outside, it's about 60 degrees today and January 10th? 9th, 11th, <laughs> January 11th. I got this little bean with me. She's so happy. And I am going to be cleaning up the seed starting room today. And I'm also going to show you guys my first seed haul of the year. Probably my first and maybe last. I'm not really buying a whole lot of seeds this year. And uh, tell you guys about what I just ordered. So, yeah. You are very, very loud. Hey. <laughs> oh my goodness. You're all muddy. I said I would want to hold you. What are you gonna ask me? I don't remember. Got another load of hay there. Yeah. Another load of goat poopy hay for the garden. That is gonna turn into food, folks. Magically. This is the state of the garden. Things are mostly dead. Broccoli, old stalks. I still have to cut those down and lay those down. Chop and drop. Garlic. So the way we prep our garden beds this year is a lot easier than last year. Since we do no till, we don't do any like flipping of the soil or tilling of the soil, but we just lay down composting or organic matter on top, right on top. It would be ideal if we put down a weed barrier first, like cardboard or newspaper. But if you put a thick enough layer of organic matter on top, it will suppress weeds from coming back up the next year. And as long as you stay on top of the annual weeds that grow up, you can pretty much keep them from coming back year after year. So it just takes a few years to establish. Our biggest issue is with dandelions and they're actually good for the soil. They loosen the soil with their thick tap roots. So they're not a big deal. I don't mind them too much. And yes, yeah, so that's pretty much what we're doing. For us, we're just putting down our goat wasted hay that ends up on the floor of the goat pen. They poop on it, they pee on it. Their poop is totally safe for immediate use in the garden. Their urine is a little bit harder on plants, but because we're putting it down now in the winter, it'll be totally fine by the time we plant in our garden. So just taking that, that lovely, lovely goat hay. And as you can see, like we did in the other two beds, we're just putting it right down. This bed, we put down lightly aged horse manure about like, it'll be about a year old by the time we plant in it first and then we're putting down the hay on top come on so i'm not gonna lie i'm actually feeling really down today um there's just a lot of things going on my one of my family members is really sick out in california my sister is about to go into labor any day now and i'm out here and there's just a lot going on. Um, I'm just not feeling great. I'm feeling really down. So I could help in the garden, should help in the garden, but um, I'm actually just gonna go on a little walk and listen to some worship music. And then I'll, go, I'll come back to the house, maybe eat some lunch, and then I'll show you guys the seats that I got and the stuff I ordered online the other day. She's gonna try to come with me. You can't come with me. I keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down. But we so we cleaned up in here on the potting bench. Garoom, we cleaned up in here. So this is the first time I've actually been sitting at the potting bench all year long, AKA 2020. Chris is still working on cleaning up some stuff right behind me. 
Say, don't look at my butt. We won't look at your butt. He's cleaning up his bookshelf. We are trying to be a little bit less cluttered in our life overall. So just cleaning out this room. And I wanted to show you guys what I got from Johnny Seeds and Fruition Seeds and also talk about what else I ordered that will be coming in the spring. So let's start by going through this Fruition Seeds order. For those of you who've been following me for a long time, you know that I love Fruition Seeds, mostly because it is a local organic and heirloom seed company just an hour down the road from us. Um, I love the owners, I love their mission, I love their passion for um, small scale local farming, and I love their product. So I got this Uncle Willie's Bush Dry Bean. Super pretty. Um, exceptionally creamy, shelled, and dry. Just a nice, straightforward, medium large carrot that will do well in this region. Eggplant. Standard Black Beauty. I got a couple varieties of onion. I know onion seeds are ones that you want to get every year. And last year I bought my onion seeds from Baker Creek. This year I wanted to go with a New York company um, because they'll just do even better. So I'm doing the New York Early and the Rosa di, di Milano. I'll actually be starting my onions in just a couple weeks. I'm gonna start my onions when we get back from California soon. I got two bags of sugar snap peas i got a bag of shelling peas peas are an excellent source of protein and i want to do some shelling peas this year and hopefully freeze them and be able to add peas into our meals all winter long i got some kohlrabi which i've never grown before uh, but i wanted to give it a try this year a couple different winter squashes um, honey nut, which is one of my favorites, and I could never have enough seeds, and um, Sibley winter squash, which was actually developed out of Rochester, New York. If you haven't tried honey nut squash, it is definitely a must grow. It is my favorite thing to grow in the entire garden. So this one is called Calypso. I got bush snap beans, sequoia, their beautiful deep purple color. Some more dragon tongue. And that's it for my fruition seeds order. And so I spent about $50 on those seeds. Okay, so let's go into the Johnny's seed order. Okay. So I got some cauliflower seeds cheddar cauliflower, I got some organic soybean seeds, quite a few of those, a type of broccoli called Bell Star, which I heard about from Seed to Fork, who I follow on Instagram. I got soy inoculant, and I got a general garden bean and legume inoculant as well, because my soil definitely needs it. And I also got some fava beans. So these are the seeds. So you can see there's a really large bag and that is the soy and then the second large bag is the fava beans. Soy I'm primarily growing to be able to make tempeh which is a fermented soy product. It's like a patty that you make. It's really good for your gut, really loaded with protein and other nutrients and the fermentation process makes it easier for your body to digest. But I also might try grow making our own tofu, uh, making our own soy milk and doing things like that. And then I have my cauliflower and broccoli seeds. And I did get these from Johnny's because while I love regionally adapted seeds, I have seen a lot of people have success with Johnny's broccoli and cauliflower heads. Um, these are F1 hybrids, so they're not heirlooms. But as I mentioned, broccoli and cauliflower can be really hard to grow. And I just wanna see if I have more success growing hybrid varieties because I do wanna be able to freeze a lot of broccoli and cauliflower to store through the winter. So I would like to have bigger heads, ideally. An oculant, which should last me a nice, a nice long time. I don't even think I'll need very much of it. And then this is the other inoculant for fava beans, legumes, other types of beans. 
Okay, so that is it for my little seed haul. The other things that I wanted to mention is I just placed my order for sweet potatoes and seed potatoes. So we will have a lot of seed potatoes left over from last year's crop, but I didn't do a good job of labeling variety, so it's just gonna be a big mismatch. But I also wanted to order some extra, specifically some more Yukon Golds, some just like nice, classic, versatile potatoes that we can use for making like french fries and hash browns and mashed potatoes and we, we just love potatoes, it's like our favorite food. I ordered our potatoes from, called the Maine Potato Lady. So if you're in the Northeast and you're looking for a place to order potatoes, the Maine Potato Lady is a great place. I was really happy with our potatoes last year from, from the Maine Potato Lady. We also ordered sweet potatoes from the same place last year, but I wasn't really happy with them because we ended up getting our order like cut in half and we were refunded, but it, we didn't get the supply that we wanted. And by the time that the order came, it was too late to order any other slips. So this year I decided to go ahead and order my sweet potato slips through Johnny's Seeds. So I ended up ordering a variety that's specifically good for the Northeast and I ordered another sweet potato variety that's like a white sweet potato because I really love white sweet potatoes. My dad used to always cook them growing up and it was just a classic in our home. So that's what I have. I didn't order any tomato seeds, I didn't order any pepper seeds, and that's just because I ordered so many last year and I didn't use nearly, like I didn't finish any of the packs. So I have so many tomato seeds and pepper seeds. Honestly, this year in the garden, I am scaling back with things that require a lot of maintenance and I'm prioritizing storage crops because right now, I'm gonna actually be teaching a class this summer, so my schedule is gonna be a lot different. I'll have evenings where I'll be a lot busier doing that, teaching, and I might even be taking a class. So if I'm taking a class and I'm teaching a class and I'm working full time, and it's just unrealistic for me to be able to be in the garden as much I'd like, as I'd like to, but I still wanna grow a lot of our own food. So things like potatoes and beans and onions and um, the garlic that we planted and sweet potatoes, those are great storage crops winter squash, we can have that all through the winter. We st we're still eating our winter squash, we're still eating our garlic, we're still eating our onions from last year's garden, and it's been such a blessing and really reduced our food, food costs each week from the grocery store. And I also wanna focus on beans. I wanna have a really good source of plant-based protein, filling protein, scaling back in some ways and scaling up in other ways. And I will talk to you guys all about my garden plans as I start to make them a little bit more. Right now we're slowly entering our way into the season where that's going to become a priority of mine. I'm going to start with starting onions. I'm going to do some microgreens that I'll start this weekend. I'll record that for you, for you guys tomorrow. And then I am going to be starting some more artichokes because I loved having artichokes in the garden. Even if they're just beautiful to look at, the plants are amazing and fresh artichokes is just such a fun thing to have in upstate New York. So I'm gonna start some more this year just in case our other ones don't end up perennializing and they end up dying, um, which I expect. So yep, yeah, that's where I'm at, that's where I'm going and I'll take you guys along with me. Thanks for being here, love you guys. I love all my plant steaders and if you're not a part of the uh, plant steading family, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and follow along. Love to have you here. Bye friends.